I got kicked, pinched, punched, bitten, verbally abused. When I was bullied at primary school, um, it was a not very obvious type of bullying and uh, it was just where I was being excluded. One of the uh, incidents that I remember was where I'd gone up to a group of people who I thought were my friends um, and I joined in on the conversation and one of the girls turned to me and said, why are you here? And I said, well, what, what do you mean, why am I here? And she said, don't stand here, you're not welcome. If you're a parent and you find out your small child's being bullied, you're just devastated. You, you know, we all want our children to be popular and have friends, and the fact that they might be picked on, somebody else might not like them, is devastating to parents. I felt sick. I felt guilty. I felt like I'd lost control of looking after my child. If your child was being bullied, how would you know? If parents suspect their, their younger children are being bullied, the, the most obvious thing to look out for is, is mood changes. Um, often kids that are being bullied um, get withdrawn, they get upset. Um, they might be saying that they're, they're feeling sick and they don't want to go to school. They change their mood, so you'll notice as a parent if something's up with them. One of the first signs might be that uh, your child is not behaving in ways which are average and normal for them. So if your child is outgoing and suddenly becomes quite introverted, uh, perhaps their, their eating habits are different, it's really about knowing your child and why would he or she suddenly act very differently. Other things you can look out for are torn clothing from when they come home from school or if they're missing something, like for example if their pencil case goes missing or a bag goes missing, something gets scuffed or, or damaged in some way. Often those are indicators that something's going on for them at school. Is the child attempting to cover up? You know, is your eight-year-old suddenly locking the bathroom door? They don't want you to see their arms or legs. Are they hiding bruises? Then we'll work hugely hard to hide the fact that's happening. Small children blame themselves a lot for things that happen to them. So they quite often think it's their fault, you know, the bullies picked on them because there's something wrong with them. And actually that's not true. There was one evening I caught Connor at the top of the stairs with tears in his eyes and I just sat with him and I just said to him, what's going on at school? And he told me that the boy had been threatening him, calling him names, telling him what he wasn't going to do to him when he got outside school. And then I just was so glad he told me. I put my arms around him and told him that I would help him. One of the main things is for, for you is for a parent to listen to their child and not to be sort of immediately talking at them or um, in, almost leaking one's pain and it becomes about you and not the child. Believing them, absolutely believing them, because many victims of abuse generally fear not being believed and also letting them know that, it's, that now there will be solutions, that the family and the school and other adults perhaps that need to be involved will work together to solve the problem.